I don't do intros. How you guys doing today? I'm doing all right today. Today I have a brand new build, a brand new character for you guys. Uh, I hope you guys like it. Um, we're gonna talk about all that stuff in this video. What uh, what we got going on? We have a um, a level 87 rune level 87 plus 18 plus seven weapons. Um, faith strength fire build kind of themed after the same uh, character I've already made before which is the mad pumpkin head character the pyro pumpkin head guy uh, we're gonna talk about all that in this video but first guys if you guys wouldn't mind liking and subscribing the video man trying to get to a thousand subs before the end of the year I think we can do it if we're tenacious enough and uh, go follow my Twitch if you haven't already. It's Dust Insanity over underscore over um, over on Twitch. Anyway, guys, let's talk about this build, this character, and stuff like that. Um, so, like I said, I've already done a character like this before, but it was at Rune level 200. It was my Mad Pumpkin Head character, my Pyro Pumpkin Head character. Uh, I at the time I thought I would never make another fire build because I thought you know this one does everything a fire build wants to do It's super fun. It's super powerful by the way watch this clean fucking uh, Flame and strike double kill. Let me hit you with a, a replay in case you didn't see it Look at that man. That might be the cleanest flame and strike kills of all time I've done I've gotten double kills before with flame and strike but I was getting my ass rocked in this invasion, and then that just happens. Dude, Flame and Strike is such a good um, Ash of War. It's kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to make this build. Especially putting it on the Stone Brick Hammer. We'll talk about that in here in a bit. Um, the build itself, we're running a 33 Faith, 21 Strength uh, for our damage stats, and then our, um, our other stats are, you know, higher, mostly. Uh, we have just enough endurance to be able to use uh, the stuff that we need to use. Got a little bit of mine so because we're casting spells. And then, of course, uh, we have like 47 Vigor or something like that. We have really really high amounts of Vigor. I've put high amounts of Vigor on all of my builds. And you should too, by the way. Um, the reason why I'm running 33 Faith is I think that you need 33 Faith for... Uh, fires deadly sin um, but that doesn't matter because we're using our physic and pumping our faith up to 43 uh, 43 is it's a really good spot for incantation damage um, like if you just want to do any sort of incantation damage consider going 40 uh, faith and the strength that we have on the build is at 21 because at 21 strength you can two hand the um, the stone brick hammer as well as, as a lot of other things this build uses like the omen killer cleaver which i ended up liking a lot more than the stone brick hammer but i did kind of want to theme around uh, the stone brick hammer for this build uh, mainly because of the character himself um i guess i'll go ahead and talk about the character now so i said that i've already done a build like this this is a whole separate character um, you guys know my mad pumpkin head character. I named him Billy Yellow after the uh, You know classic horror film pumpkin head obviously the child in that movie is named Billy This guy is named Hellborn Krieg um, If you guys are Borderlands fans, you probably know why his name is Hellborn Krieg um, There's a character in Borderlands a playable character that you play as he was DLC when the game first came out um, I'm not nostalgic for Borderlands 2 as a matter of fact, I just played the game not even that long ago, a couple months ago for the very first time. I ever played the whole game through, played it I think three times. I, I did um, Ultimate, is it Ultimate? Yeah, Ultimate Vault Hunter mode. I got to level 80. I haven't done the OP 10 levels yet, or the OP levels at all. Um, might do that in the future, but I wanted to leave something in the game for me to do because I did literally almost everything in that game. And uh, of course, the character I played with Psycho Krieg. Now Krieg is very interesting because he uh, he does a shit ton of damage. He's like the tankiest character in the game, and parts of his kit actually hurt himself. Um, he has a perk that he bangs himself on the head with his own axe, and then of course uh, his Hellborn tree is all about setting himself on fire to get all kinds of 
crazy ass bonuses. And, uh, and thankfully in Elden Ring, man, we have a spell in the game that literally sets you on fire when you use it. It's Fire's Deadly Sin. Um, I also like, um, combined it with Howl of Shibiri. So what I do in my invasions, you see me doing it right here, I like to use Howl of Shibiri up close, or up front, I guess. The first, how do I say this? I first use Howl of Shibiri, and then I use Fire's Deadly Sin. You can't use them together, unfortunately. Oh, by the way, guys, if you guys hear some noise in my background, little creaks and whatnot, it's because I have a cat. I have a cat now. His name is uh, Dinky. We call him Dinkleberg, so just disregard him in the video. Uh, maybe say hi to Dinky in the comments. Uh, he's being a menace right now, jumping all over the place. Anyway, Hellborn Krieg is really cool. Um, I wish you could use Hal of Shibiri and uh, Fire's Deadly Sin together. You can't. Um, I don't really know what else Fire's Deadly Sin does for you, except just make you an AoE ticking time bomb, kind of. Um, I do get a Fire's Deadly Sin kill in this video, toward the end of the video. It really isn't that remarkable, but it's fun to kill people like it. I really wanted a kill where I used um, Fire's Deadly Sin and Surge of Flame together. I did try to go for it. Um, but unfortunately, the host was not cooperative. As a matter of fact, this is the Fire's Deadly Sin kill that you're going to see coming up. Um, anyway, let's talk about the character, man. We haven't really talked about the character. I talked about his inspiration, so I haven't really talked about him. Um, so, my other Pumpkinhead character is the older brother of this character. You guys know I love to give my characters lore and whatnot and make them more um, alive, I guess. You know, roleplay them a little bit, I guess you could say. It helps me uh, kind of craft my build together when I think of an idea for a character. Maybe I'll do that uh, in another video where I talk about how I make my builds and whatnot. If you guys would be interested in that, let me know how I make my builds, how uh, I go about the thought process, uh, how do I put things together, how do I theorycraft and stuff like that. I'll be happy to do something like that for you guys, like a kind of guide almost. Um, I know some people really like my builds. Uh, I know some people even copy my builds. And here's the Fire's Deadly Skin send kill, by the way, to the Moon Veiler with the uh, burger head helmet on. Um, yeah, man, I'd be happy to break down my uh, build making process. But anyway, let's talk about this character. We haven't really talked about him all that much. Uh, so the Pumpkin Heads, the brothers, they're actually twins. And I have an idea for them being like twin princes, almost like Lothric and Lorien. But not really, uh, because those guys are weird. These guys are... Uh, essentially a frenzy flame twin uh, princes frenzied flame twin princes um, so my idea for them is that maybe uh, they were in like this frenzy cult or whatever some kind of like cult of Shibiri or something like that and they were destined for greatness maybe like prophesized to uh, to be the lord of frenzy the lord of chaos I should say um, they are twins. They were born at the same time. I'm kind of thinking maybe they were born from like a corpse. Maybe, maybe, maybe their mother was like a corpse, and her womb was like in, like infested with frenzied flame, and like they were like born in its flame. I know this is really dark, but <laughs> my my fucking brain is twisted. What do you want me to say, man? Um, so I imagine while in the womb of their mother's corpse. The older brother, which is a level 200 build, you guys have seen him already. If you haven't, uh, be sure to go back into the channel and look for uh, videos with that guy because he there's a couple of videos of him. Um, what was I saying? Uh, so the fire in the womb. I imagine it, it did burn them both while they were both babies. I, I think it burned this younger guy more than the older one. The older one, you know, he wears armor, he has all kinds of different fire spells, he killed the fire giant so he has burno flame, um, he can use like the flame of the fell gods, he's very interested in all kinds of different fire and controlling it. Um, he is crazy, he is still mad, and, you know, infested with frenzy, but he keeps it kind of to himself. He's able to control it, right? The older guy? The level 200 build, he's able to control it. This guy, uh, Krieg, the younger brother, younger by only a few seconds, mind you, um, he is absolutely bonkers. His face is really scarred up. You can barely tw like tell he's the twin of the other guy. 
and uh, and obviously he's like way more insane. He's way more unstable, right? Um, I used to use Fire's Deadly Sin on the uh, on on Billy Yellow, the um, the older twin, the older brother of this character right here. But I'm gonna take Fire's Deadly Sin off of that build because Billy would not now not use that spell. He is crazy, but he's not as crazy as his brother. His brother loves to inflict the fire upon himself. He loves to burn himself. He loves to burn people. He loves to burn things. He he's just an insane main. He's just an insane main. That's all there is to it, man. Um And obviously that reflects in both their levels too, right? Um from a lore standpoint, uh the Lord of Chaos would probably be level two hundred, right? Um this guy's only level eighty seven. He's a uh, you know all, he's more unstable than his brother, so he can't really he can't really be the prophesized uh, Lord of Chaos. Um, his brother kind of takes up that mantle because he's able to keep his uh, insanity at check. In check, I should say. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the lore of the character. Let me guys let me know if you guys like these kind of lore explanations. I know some people do. Some people probably didn't even hear them. Um, but yeah, man, I I do this for all of my characters. I love like coming up with like a, an idea, a concept, and trying my best to to kind of uh, find things in Elden Ring that kind of match the aesthetic of the character that I want to go for. Um, I did say before that I I used the stone brick hammer on this build. I kind of that's how the build kind of came together. I kind of thought what what weapon would like this crazy man use. Um, by the way, this guy just never, no caution at all, just getting absolutely eviscerated by uh, by Catch Flame there, like five times in a row. Didn't even try to dodge out of it. So what weapon would this crazy guy use? He would use a brick that he stuck a stick into. <laughs> it's pretty much, uh, like, you know, that's like the most insane weapon I could think of. Um, anyway, guys, here's my gear and stats and all that stuff. Um, if you guys like this kind of content, this kind of build making content, kind of invasions, these kind of duels, uh, be sure to like and subscribe the video, man. Trying to get to a thousand subs before the end of the year. I think we can do it if we're tenacious enough. And uh, with that being said, guys, fare thee well, peace out, and all that fun stuff. I'll see you guys later, man.